Here is the challenge with personal brands. The challenge is noise. There's so much noise. And I, I wanna show you a visual. This is something we call Sheehan's Wall because I originally heard this concept kind of from a guy named Peter Sheehan. And he talks about how there's sort of this invisible wall. And on one side of, of any industry, there are people who are, are unknown. And then everyone's trying to break through to really become known. And what happens is you get all of this different advice about uh, you should have these different messages, right? You should talk about whatever is the hot topic or you should be in all these different mediums, right? You should be on Medium and LinkedIn and Instagram or whatever or all these different business models like I need to have a membership or no, I need video courses or it's coaching or consulting. And we end up trying to do all of these different things and what happens is that you have incredible brand dilution. The people who break through the wall do one simple thing is they focus all of their energy, their resources, their efforts into becoming known for one thing first. And you become the expert on one thing and then you break through the wall and once you're on the other side of the wall, then you can expand and be known for other things, lots of other things. Um, the best advice I ever heard on this topic was actually from a guy named Larry Wingett and he said the whole key to finding your person or to, to building a great brand is to find your uniqueness so that you can exploit it in the service of others. Find your uniqueness so you can exploit it in the service of others. So this brings us then to the question of, 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 of what is, how do you do that, right? If, if this is the number one secret of building a best-selling personal brand, uh, I'm gonna offer something that I think is so simple but so overlooked. The secret is to be able to answer one question and to be able to answer that question in one word. And the question is simply, what problem do I solve? What problem do you solve? See, people buy solutions to problems. It's not that often that we just go buy luxury items. Generally speaking, people buy solutions to problems. And most of the people, when we first start working with brands, they can't answer that question with one word. What problem do I solve? They don't know. And here's what we know for sure. If you aren't clear on the problem you solve, there is no way your audience, your prospects, your customers will ever know either. And if you look at some real modern examples of some breakthrough personal brands, right? Brene Brown spent two decades becoming the expert on shame. Just that, that one concept. Uh, this is another person who's got huge, 800, over 800 employees now, Dave Ramsey has. Uh, I, I knew Dave, I met Dave when he had 250 employees. And they have grown so fast, he owns the word debt. That's the only problem he talks about and solves. Uh, Simon Sinek did this with purpose. Uh, one of our clients, as we mentioned, is Lewis Howes. His entire personal brand is oriented around self-doubt and helping people overcome that. Even on a global scale, right? You look at Mother Teresa, poverty, Martin Luther King Jr., inequality. But, so what problem do you solve? If you can answer that question, you can be a best-selling brand. But until you get clarity on that question, you're, going, you're really going to struggle because you have to sell the problem as much as you sell the solution. So the problem that we solve now, uh, our company, Brand Builders, is obscurity. Is people who are untrusted, unknown, or unclear. That's what we help people really solve. And we walk people through a simple process, what we call the Brand DNA Helix. Um, and you can snap a quick picture of this if you want. It's six basic questions that as you answer uh, these six questions for each person, you find at the intersection between who the world needs you to be and who you were designed to be. At that intersection is where your uniqueness lives. So if that is something that you struggle with, I'd be happy to talk with you sometime over the next couple days, just come and say hello. Um, but the last thing I wanna leave you with really is the number one biggest mistake that people make with their personal brand. And it's more of a mental mistake than anything. And the big mistake uh, is that you don't want to make your personal brand about you. Your personal brand is not about you. Your personal brand is about the problem that you solve in the service of others. 
And some of you have been resistant to building a personal brand because you say, oh, I don't understand that technology, or I don't like the Facebook, or I don't have time for this, or, or whatever it is. But I guarantee you, whenever you have those limiting beliefs, it's because you're thinking about yourself. And you're not thinking about the people who need the solution to the problem that you were uniquely designed to solve. You see, you never feel fear when the mission to serve is clear. And so if you're afraid or you're resistant, it's because you're thinking about yourself, period. That's the biggest mistake that everybody makes with the personal brand. So it's not about ego, it's not about vanity, um, it's about solving a problem. And, and if we all are addicted to something, which some people make the case that we are, if we are all addicted to something, then service is just the addiction with the best byproducts. Thank you very much. Ooh.